Awakening Beauties. I am Robin and this is my no buy year. For those years where I was not wearing much makeup, what I was doing is buying or, or using mostly powder or mineral foundations. And one in particular that I was using the most is from a company called Everyday Minerals. Um, you can only buy this on their website, I believe. Um, I had an esthetician one time many years ago turn me on to it because I was looking for more natural products. And I, I know, don't sue me. I know that's like, that's a very loaded word these days. But either way, she turned me on to this company and I wear the color Golden Beige 3W. I get a darker version. I think I used it up already, but... Um, I get a darker version in the summer, like a shade darker, and this is the one that looks best on me right now. And this is a nice product. Uh, it's not terribly expensive. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to it down below. Um, in fact, I'm going to try to link a lot of these things down below. Maybe not everything, but I'll try to remember to link anything if you're interested. But um, yeah, this is a good product. This gives good coverage. It's not like patchy. It's not drying. You know, some mineral foundations I've tried, my face feels very dry. This is seems to be a little bit more hydrating. Um, but you, you do need to make sure that your skin is very hydrated when you use a mineral foundation like this. But but it works really nice and it's just it's just good. It's just a good product. This triggered what I'm about to share with you. This triggered in my memory kind of the beginning of my decline into spending. <laughs> or I should say my incline in spending because I like the everyday minerals, right? But I wanted to see if I could find a version uh, that I liked better. Aren't we always looking for something better, right? So I went on to YouTube and this might have been one of the first beauty channels that I looked at in years actually. And her name is Shelby Wilson. And she made videos talking about Bare Minerals because she used to work for Bare Minerals. And so I was like, eh, you know, I knew people who had tried Bare Minerals and they've said that like their face looked so dry, that it aged them, that it just settled into all of their fine lines. And so I was always like, no, I'm not, I, you know, I was averse to really trying Bare Minerals products. But then I watched her video and she talked about, um, you know, using, first of all, a hydrating primer. And then she talked about using the correct blending method and they make a brush, I don't have it in here with me, but I did end up buying the buffing brush that they, they make for Bare Minerals. And uh, she was right. I have not had any issues with it looking like cracked and aging on my face if I take the time to apply it correctly. And um, so yeah, I've been, I started using Bare Minerals in the summer and I originally started with this shade. This is the Light 08. And then as summer passed and my skin got lighter, I ended up buying the Golden Ivory 07. So I have two of them and uh, we'll continue to use them because they're pretty good. And I didn't realize, I didn't even remember that I had this. I don't know when I got it. I don't know how long I've had it. I don't know why I bought it, but it was the Ulta Mineral Foundation. I mean, I know I've used it, but I really couldn't tell you very much about it. I'm guessing that I bought it when I worked at my old job over three years ago, because I used to go to a gym before work over by my job, and I had bought some products that I could um, so that I wouldn't have to take my main makeup products to the gym with me. I bought some less expensive versions of my products. And I think that this was one that I bought like as a less expensive version of the Everyday Minerals. But I mean, I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try that buffing method like with, with uh, Bare Minerals. 
and see what I think. But honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you anything about this. So I think that's it for the mineral foundations. So now let's move on to the thing that is the most challenging for me. <laughs> and that is under eye coverage. So we're gonna start here with a product I absolutely hate. <laughs> I, Elf, you know, so many times you knock it out of the park, Elf. This is the Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer. But this does not work for me. I have tried this so many different ways. I've watched so many YouTube videos about it. I've hydrated, you know, right before. I've tried it not so hydrated. I've tried it before I put on foundation. I've tried it after I put on foundation, even though I'm trying to avoid the eye area. And it's just, there's so many things I hate about it. <laughs> I hate the clicker because it always brings up too much product. First, you don't have any product, and then it brings up too much product. It's like a it's like a little brush, and, and you know I, I just I hate it. The color I hate. I hate the way it makes my eyes look. I get patchy. I always get patchy. It doesn't matter what I do. I don't know what to do with this product because everybody on YouTube is telling me it's a great product, and I freaking hate it. So I don't know what to tell you. I do not like it. That doesn't mean that I'm not gonna continue to try to use it. I'm gonna continue to try to use it, but I don't like it. So this is uh, an affordable option. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer and the color is 120. And um, this is actually a good product. Usually it works for me, usually. Not always, but usually. But I, I don't like, I don't like the sponge applicator. I'm very, I'm very particular about what I like and I, I don't like it. It doesn't feel sanitary. <laughs> it doesn't feel sanitary. I don't know, it just, and it's so hard to keep this clean. Like I'll wipe it with a makeup wipe to try to get it clean before I put the lid back on, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna look pretty after a couple of uses. I can guarantee you that. But the product actually works really well. It's, it's a good product. I have few complaints. It doesn't always work on me. Sometimes it goes patchy, but usually it works pretty good. Around the same time I got that, I got the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I lost the lid to it. I don't know what happened to it. And this is great. <laughs> As Tony the Tiger would say, this is great. I, I mean, for a drugstore option, this has worked better than expensive products that I've tried in the past. And I am using the color vanilla. Yeah, this color is vanilla. I will, I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can buy another one this year. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use up all of these. Probably not. But next year, they better still have this. I will rebuy it. All right, I was having all of my makeup woes with this e.l.f. abomination. And uh, I was at Ulta and I was, you know, giving my, my blues, singing my blues about my concealer problems. And the girl there said, well, why don't you try our number one bestseller? It is the Creaseless Concealer from Tarte. And I said, well, I've heard about Tarte before. I've heard they make a good concealer product. So yes, yes, please put it in my basket. And I have the color medium. By the way, today I am wearing this. And I have, I, I sort of 
like it. I, you know, it's, I think it's, it's a little too dark on me. And I questioned the girl, do you think this is the right color for me? I mean, I don't like to go too light because then you end up looking funny, you know, under your eyes. But mm, no, I mean, it's a, it's an okay match. And the texture is, it's pretty good. It doesn't really go patchy. I haven't noticed much patchiness, but it just can't compete with this. It just can't, it can't compete with this. I don't know what they did, but to me, this is better than this. And this was much more expensive. All right, those are my concealers. Although I do have, this would be considered, I believe, a concealer. This is also from Everyday Minerals. It's a multitasking, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's a multitasking mineral concealer. And if you have very dry under eyes, which I do, um, just go carefully with it. But it does, you know, sort of lighten and it doesn't go too creasy. Uh, it doesn't give a lot of coverage though. I mean, if you've got really dark under eyes, it's not gonna conceal that, you know. It's it's just very light coverage. It's okay. I got it, uh, this is, I don't even, is this the regular size? I think it is the regular size. I don't know, I think it was like a sample size, but. I mean, I'm never going to get through all of this product. I'm just not. Okay. We have moved on now to powders. And I don't have a ton of powders either, I don't think. I mean, I'll start with this one. I didn't pay for this. It came as a sample at Sephora. It's the Kat Von D Locket um, translucent powder. I have used it a few times. It's fine. It's, it's nothing to write home about. It's whatever. I don't even know if they make this. I don't even know. It's, I've had this a while. Probably needs to be decluttered. This is a very nice setting powder. It's the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder in the color light medium. And you know, it's nice. It's, it's, uh, it's good for every day. I mean, I don't know. I've heard people rave about this and you know, it, it works fine. It's, it's, it's a good loose, you know, it's pretty translucent. It doesn't, you know, on me, it's pretty translucent. It's pretty good. So, oh yeah, let's talk about this one. So my eye woes, my woes with my concealer. I was, again, it was another trip to Ulta and I was talking to a woman there about my eye woes and she said, oh, you just need to set it with you know, with a, a setting powder for concealer setting powder. And the number one seller, the best one out there, is this one by Laura Mercier. I've never had a Laura Mercier product to my knowledge. And it's just, it's very, it's like white, okay? And um, very finely milled. And uh, she said, it's what I wear all the time. And she looked great. So I bought it and I tried it. And I said, oh, no, no, it's an abomination. I almost took it back. Then I forgot about it. And then it was too late to take it back because you have like, what, 30 days to take back a product. So uh, over these past few months, I've, tried it different ways and um, actually I'm starting to like it now and really the only reason is because I bought the triangle shaped beauty blender that you, you stick your fingers in and you you pat it in and you can really get into there and kind of roll it in so that it doesn't like settle into your lines and doing it that way is good it's fine I'm I'm using it um, do I love it as much as I thought I was going to love it? No, there is no magic product. I mean, out of all these products that I've really liked, probably, to be honest, the Buildable Blur is the best one out of all of these. And, you know, but are there any magic products? No, I mean, 
they'll do the job. They'll, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you'll, you know, whoa, but <laughs> most of the time, no. Anyways, it's pretty good. I am not going to tell, say it's the best product I've ever used, but I'm, I'm going to backpedal for a minute because I actually do really love this product that I splurged on a couple months ago. See, I, I started watching these YouTube videos and then I went, it was a slippery slope. I started, you know, I'd never bought expensive makeup before. I had never bought, you know, $50 foundation before. But then, you know, it was just like, you see these videos and you're seeing how beautiful these girls look. And I'm like, I want to look like that. So, enter Charlotte Tilbury. And I think I've only owned one other product at that time from Charlotte Tilbury. You know, I wouldn't even go down that aisle when I would go to Sephora. Wouldn't even go down that aisle because the products were too expensive. But this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's so finely milled. It's so soft and blurring on the skin. It reminds me of the Thrive Cosmetics. They have a loose powder called, um, it's like a, a filtering powder. And it sort of, it reminds me of that because it this really does like have a, a blurring, filtering effect on the skin. And um, what color am I? I got number one fair. This is gorgeous. So I'm really, really enjoying this. Okay, that's my powders. It's not a lot, right? It's only, it's only five. It's only five, right? And I can count correctly. Actually, no, I have one more. But I can't really count this one because this was a, um, this was for Halloween. I was trying to get a very white face to look very ghostly. So I bought the um, Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and it's like really, really white. And I bought like the fairest shade foundation, like a, the, of the drugstore versions that I could find to get a very white face. So. I ended up buying this and I didn't even know what a baking powder was. So I still have this. Perhaps I'll use it. Perhaps, you know, and this is in the color ghost. <laughs> what an appropriate name. I don't actually I probably won't use this except for Halloween. So I have that. Doesn't count. My book doesn't count. Okay, on to bronzer. I don't have a lot of bronzers. Um, in fact, the two of them that I have are new. So I, a few years ago, probably like four or five years ago, this, I was seeing a lot of, um, a lot of advertising on like Instagram and stuff for this company. Um, it's called Luscious Cosmetics in their face contour kit. And look, I don't know if you can see, it arrived like that. It was all dented like that. I never reached out to the company to, you know, because I'm like, well, the product inside was not broken. So, um, I've, you know, I, I used this the first year that I got it. It comes with, you know, like, a this is a contour. This is a bronzing. This is a highlighting and another highlight lighter. And, um, yeah, I used it. I used it for a while. Um, I haven't really used it in the past couple of years. And like, I mean, how do you ever go through? I don't know. How do you ever go through? You can't. You just have to throw stuff away. And it's, I don't really like it that much. In fact, like, like this is too dark for me for contouring. You know, if I blend and blend and blend, it'll, it'll be all right. But I can use this more for contouring, um, actually. And, and this is like very gold, very gold on the skin. Let me see if I can. You know, it's for highlighting. So, you know, here's the, the the white one and here's the golden one. And, you know, I'm to the point where I just don't really, you know, you don't, if you, 
when you get older, you, there's certain things you don't want to draw attention to. So I, I'm sort of playing with highlighters and, and stuff, but it's not something I'll wear every day. I'll talk about later about the one I'm wearing right now, but anyways. So I really wanted a contour bronzer and I was in Target and I saw the e.l.f. Putty bronzer and I had seen you know a lot of reviews on it and people love it and you know I'm wearing it today and I don't know I really wanted Westman Atelier but I decided not to buy it and now I'm in my no buy year and I have a little regrets over that because I think that would have worked better than this I don't know to me I don't love it. I just don't love it. Sorry, Elf. I just don't love it. It's not, it's not for me. And here's another one. I just don't love. And I'm wearing both of these today. And when I was editing video, you know, a couple of videos ago, and I was wearing both of them, I thought, God, they look so orange. They don't look that orange in real life, but they looked really orange. So we'll see when I'm editing this video, if these look that orange, but this is the physician's formula. This is the butter bronzer. And uh, the color is, uh, I don't know, I think it's called Sunkissed. And listen, some people love this. Some people love the way it smells. I freaking hate the way it smells. It smells like copper tone to me. You know, that tropical, I don't know. I don't like the way it smells. Thankfully, once you put it on, you don't smell it anymore, but I'm not a fragrance person, and so I just don't love the way it smells. I wish I would have bought, and I don't know that it has a fragrance or not because I've never tried it, but I wish I would have tried the L'Oreal Infallible. That one gets a lot of great reviews, and it's, you know, it's drugstore cost, so. But I got this one, and this is the one that I'm living with for a year. Highlighters. This is getting really long. This video is getting really long. We will, we will press on. Um, I haven't been a huge highlighter person, but um, I've been trying a few of them. This one I've had forever. It, it came as a Sephora, you know, perks kind of thing. It's the Bare Minerals. It's, it's got like a peachy gold tone on it as I sprinkle it everywhere. And it's like very, I mean, it's fine, but boy, you can really see all of the like glitter particles in there. It's a little much. It's a little much for me. I don't wear it really ever. This was another one. It was a Sephora, you know, when you're in the checkout and you have points. Um, this is, what's, who's this? I don't even know who this is by. Oh, it's Benefit. What's up? Benefit was up. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's so rubbed off. I have used it. I used it a lot. And look how much I still have left. It's a stick. This is actually really nice. Um, I do enjoy this, which is why I still have it. I do wear it from time to time. So, what's up? I don't even know if they still make it. You can tell me. So... I'm watching YouTube videos over the summer and these girls with their highlighter and they look so great. So I went into Ulta and I was like, I'm not gonna pay, you know, $30, $40 for a highlighter. And I'm like, you know, what can you recommend? And I was kind of like, I kind of want a, a cream version, a liquid version or a cream version. And so the girl pointed me to this. This is Revolution Bright Light and I, I clean this every time I use it. It's another one of those that I hate, a sponge that are so messy and you, you know, crank it up and it comes out the top and, you know, it's, I, I don't like that. I don't like a sponge applicator. Um, but anyways, it works good. Um, I think it's about done because it's getting pretty dry, but I use it from time to time. And really cream is preferable, but I don't know, something got into me. I was going crazy knowing that I was gonna be doing this no buy. So I was on Amazon, I was like, oh, let me find a highlighter, I need a highlighter. And you know, I had heard about this one, the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. 
and a Supreme Rose Beam. I'm wearing it today, but only a tiny, tiny bit because a little goes a long way and it can it can get out of control. I don't know about you, but when I, I just, you know, put it right here and it just seems like it covers up my blush, just covers it right up. Does that happen to you? So then I have to go in with my blush and put more blush on. And I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. It's not knocking my socks off. I have not find a how have not found a highlighter that has knocked my socks off. I don't think one exists. And if it does, I'll have to wait until next year to try it. So I'm going to stop there with this video because this has gotten really long and uh, we're going to come back in the next one and we're going to see what I have as far as what I'm starting with as far as eyeshadows and lip products and uh, and cheek. I don't count the highlighter. So cheek products. So thank you for watching and have a great week. And um, this is an announcement that I'm making right now. Actually, I wanted to make this, uh, that I'm going to start uploading twice a week. I'm gonna start uploading on Sundays, which I already do, and on Wednesdays. So um, I'm just trying to make more content and realizing that I, I do have the time, I can carve out the time for it. And uh, I think it will, be you know it'll help me stay on track a little bit better with what i'm trying to accomplish i hope that you will subscribe if you're not subscribed already and that you'll share this video if you have friends and family that are talking about doing a no buy i know we're talking about products here and you know by no means am i encouraging you to go out and buy products but i just wanted to share with y'all what i have and what i'm starting with so that you'll know that th this is what I'm using and this is all I'm using for the rest of the year. If you know anybody who could benefit from watching a channel like this, I appreciate if you would share it with them and have a great week. Thank you for watching.